Hey guys and girls, what's up? It's Daiso, and welcome back to another video. Intros are a great way to start your videos, as it can show personality to your channel, and it allows your viewers to easily see the type of person that you are. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make an intro for free. And just to let you guys know, this is not using Panzoid, because it does not really suit the style of video that I make. And just a disclaimer, I am not at all the best at making intros, and if you use some of your free time, you can make a way better intro than this one as this is a basic intro tutorial. And if I don't explain something very well, I am really sorry, and I will try to help you out. And if the microphone quality sounds different, I am sitting further away from the mic so that it's not as tough on your ears. Other than that, let's get on with the video. So the only thing you need in order to make this intro I'm about to make is a video editing software called HitFilm Express. So HitFilm Express is a free video editing software that has a similar workspace to Premiere Pro and After Effects. So there will be a link in the description for that. And once you have downloaded it, I will meet you back in HitFilm. So now that we are in HitFilm Express and you started a new project in the resolution and FPS that you want it to be in, for me that is 1080p 60fps because I think those settings look nice and it is just cleaner. But if you have a low-end PC, you can always go 720p 30fps, which will decrease your exporting time, however it does not look as clean. So now that we have done that, we now want to put some stuff onto the timeline. So the two things I would personally put on at this point would be a logo and or the name for your YouTube channel. So in this, I am going to be doing both just to show you how it would work. So I did the logo first and what I did was drag it onto the timeline and put it onto the video 2 bar as we're going to be doing something with the video 1 bar in a second. I then added the slide effect which can be found in effects, video transitions, motion and then it is called slot. I then increased the motion blur which is found in the controls tab under clip properties to around 50 instead of 25 as I think motion blur looks good on intros. But it is your preference. Then onto the text, there are two ways of making the text in HitFilm, in composite and in editor. I prefer composite as it is more customizable and it has an easier workspace for this type of thing. For my text, I really like to have bold on the top and lighter slim on the bottom as I think it looks really nice and clean. Then once again, I used the slide effect from the effects tab and added some motion blur from the clip properties, which is under the controls tab. Now for the last thing, you have a couple of options on what you want in the background. You can get free stock footage from YouTube or use background gameplay. If you decide to use background gameplay or just any background video, I suggest that you blur it so that it puts the focus on your logo or text. This does end up having a really cool look and it is an effect that I use all the time. To stop the blur, all you have to do is split the clip and then use the cross dissolve effect, which does look okay but it does make a 3D look to the gameplay while the dissolving is actually happening. If you don't like that, you can use the keyframing to gradually unblur it. To keyframe, all you have to do is go into the controls tab, click effects, and then click the little circle next to where it says the radius. Then you can gradually blur it out by going to the end of the clip and putting radius down to zero. I really hope that makes sense. If it doesn't, I will try to help you out. I think that's going to wrap up this tutorial on making a basic intro. I really hope you enjoyed this video and it helped you out. And I really hope your intros turn out the way that you want them to. And once again, I'm not the best at making intros, however I do think that this could help you out if you wanted to make a simple intro that can add some personality to your channel. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next one.